If you guys want cheap and reliable coins, check out FIFAcoin.com. They're also doing FIFA mobile coins now, so check them out. I have a link in the description down below. Use Fangs for a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? It is Fangs, and welcome to another video we're gonna be doing here today. This camera is focusing directly on you. I know. It's like, I love your face. Oh. We're gonna be doing a video here today <laughs> with my mom, Mother Teresa. How you guys doing? Every time she comes in town, we do a video together usually, and you guys love the video, so we decided we'd do that. Now, I did a video. I love doing them with you. you you like it? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Am I, forcing, am I forcing this upon you? Sometimes, but yes. it's okay. <laughs> Um, so, Anything for my beautiful <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> so in like a video a week ago, I did this. There was more stuff. This is going to be kind of like a preview of what we could possibly do when she comes in town when my baby's born, because that's the next time you're probably going to be coming, <laughs> right? That'll be next. That's right. So we could try more things, but we have some of the leftover English snacks. They're not in the same bags because I wanted to preserve them so that I could actually eat them because I like candy. Um, and so we have a lot of those here. And I asked you guys some stuff for her to try, but a lot of the things I would have to acquire over time because they're like from England and or we'd have to make them so we're gonna give a few things a try here it's gonna be kind of like a preview video and if you want to see like a full-on we try like different kinds of English foods in the next one later on you just need to put hashtag it's not even England I guess I guess it's all of this it's okay when I'm in England this is what I see so we'll just put hashtag England in the comments down below get this video to a thousand likes and we will do that so we're just gonna get started here we're gonna go through some candy do you want what is do you like chocolate better or do you like like gummy things better chocolate chocolate okay We'll start with a piece of chocolate. And this, I thought, no, I'm not gonna tell you what I thought about it because then you will have an idea. You gotta tell me what you think about it and I'll have to try some too, I think. Let's see if, I should have two pieces left here. Cool, throwing in. By the way, rip off, $1.99. It, it should not be that expensive, but it's because it's imported. Okay. So we have here, this is a nice, delicate. So this is a nice UK chocolate. Caramel Galaxy chocolate, yes. And yeah, it even has like going, the huh? UK calories on it, which they do it a lot different than we do. And it says that it is from, so where was it? Where was it manufactured? Did I cut that part off? No, it's down here. It says somewhere, is it getting, is it melting in your hands? Not yet. Okay. I don't know where it says it's from. Oh wait, you're right here. No. This actually looks like it's from like, oh no, that's just in different writing. Sorry, I don't know where it is, but I'm pretty sure it was made somewhere. Well, some of them aren't made in the UK, they just eat it a lot there. Some of them are made in other countries. But this one's just being difficult now. But <laughs> we're just going where it was made somewhere in the UK. This might have been made in Russia. I'm just gonna well, say. I do like <laughs> chocolate and I do like caramel. So, so all right, I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna take a bite too. Okay. Hey. You ready? Ready. Here we go. Mmm. Do you at all taste the difference in what the chocolate's like compared to our chocolate? Well, this tastes like the chocolate and caramel candy bars that they sell for fundraisers at school. It does. Mm -hmm. Are those more natural, do you think? They must be. I think that they do not put like a um, very good they don't put a lot of the stuff that we put in ours like because you know they lost a bunch of crap in ours mm -hmm. and i think that they have more natural ones and that's why it makes it taste like that that was probably it tastes just like those it does oh my god mm -hmm. we should not show will this <laughs> no i'm not gonna show him that i let him try this and then i just now read what it may contain oh, it's okay god. will you're all right you lived what did you what did you make me try the galaxy caramel bar it mm. says on the back, may contain peanuts, hazelnut, almonds, or gluten. <laughs> it doesn't, but it could have. It's one of those ingredients could. Okay, so we need to read things a little bit better before very, we Very, very good. So you like that one? That was my, my favorite chocolate caramel um, candy bars that they usually sell with the fundraisers for the kids for a dollar a bar. I haven't seen- I mean, they're big bars though. I remember they did that a lot in Miami. I haven't mm -hmm. seen that a lot here. They're always trying to sell like cookies, like big cookies mm -hmm. and stuff, but I want those bars to come here because that they is are the tasty. They are the bomb. They are the best. Like even, you kind of get- very, very good. You get annoyed when kids want you to, to sell those to you, but not if they're that good. Not if mm -hmm. they're the good ones. I just hand the money over. <laughs> Give me that caramel. <laughs> Give me the candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> so these are called wine gums. These, wine gum. I have only seen these in England. They might be other places, but I've only seen them. Someone said that they may contain wine actually in them. I don't know if they I do. I probably should be eating them, but we're gonna try them anyway. These are interesting. So we'll see what, what color do you think you'd like? I think I would like the red. The red, okay. Here's your red. I will probably go for this. Maybe this is like great. This is like a great piece of something. I don't know. But we have the wine gums. We're gonna try these now. Let's go ahead and see here. 
They're a little bit difficult to chew. I forgot to throw that out there. <laughs> mm -hmm. They kind of taste like wine. Like a little they bit. Do. These are like those, um, oh, I don't even know what they're called. They come, they look like, um, thimbles. Mm. Like thimbles. You know what I mean? The dots, something dots mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Like the dots. I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. Those are definitely like those. Mm -hmm. And they're like, you can eat them in different, like, they're literally like those little, it's like a thimble shape, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that is, now that I think about that, I kind of feel like they actually do have wine in them, but I could be totally wrong. They'll let me know in the comments. They'll be like, Delicious. they don't have wine. So you like that? Mm-hmm. They have, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say, England has some pretty good candy. Although that one, they if you really do. If you chew a few of those, then that's gonna Might make your mouth hurt. Drunk. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna make your mouth hurt. So these, I like candies like these. These are like my favorite candy ever, but not this place. I never had these until recently. These they call them like red vines. I feel like they're kind of supposed to be like Twizzlers or something. Oh yeah, yeah. But we'll give them a try here. You don't have to eat all of it, by the way. This is a long ride. <laughs> Twizzlers are like um, licorice, like the red licorice. Yes, but these are obviously thinner, but they'll make, I feel like we have something close to this, but this is a strawberry good. maybe? like strawberries. Strawberry is one of my favorite things. Oh, so. I love strawberries. I'm just gonna. Mm. Yes, I remember, okay. I like these. Oh, I'm gonna show. They do. <laughs> Don't jump. I, don't. <laughs> I don't want to have to do the hand look right now. <laughs> but yes. Don't they taste kind of like that, do you feel like? They taste like the li the uh, Twizzler licorices. Mm-hmm. The flavored ones. Not the cherry, they have cherry ones, the strawberry ones. Mm-hmm, mm. Don't be mistaken with that. Okay. That's very good. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that because I like it so much. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So I she's liking it. everything so far. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what she was gonna think. I didn't know what you were gonna think of their candy. But you like it all so far. Mm hmm So far. They say, I got these, Haribo, which apparently is like a German company. They eat these there a lot. And as you can tell, they just look like gummy bears to me, but mm -hmm. um, they say this is not their actual star mix. But I bought it at a British Emporium. So this has to be something of your mix, but apparently it's not, but we're gonna try it anyway. You already know gummy bears, so we'll just go for some of the extras. They have these gummy little- Gummy bears and gummy worms, that's what it looks like. Little Coke bottles and these little snakes. Oh, there's these rings. So you can uh, you can go for one or the other. What do you want, a Coke bottle or do you want a ring? I like the Coke bottle. Okay. And the Coke so bottle. So cute. I'll do the ring. If you're wanting to get married in England, just go ahead and uh, get one of these out of the thing. If you just don't have any money, and she'll totally say yes. I feel like she would. This is obviously the wrong hand. <laughs> I feel like she would say yes on that. Let's see what this tastes like. I'm gonna go for it in three, two, one. Here we go. Chewy. That's a little more chewy. They make things extremely. This actually does taste like Coca Cola. Does it? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the Coke one. I don't think. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have enough. Oh my god, my sour. Oh, I did not get sour one like that last time. The ring one is sour. Mm hmm. This one tastes like pop. I'm gonna try. Did you just call it pop? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's from Oklahoma, guys. She calls it pop. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, I don't know if people, what England, I think in England they call it fizzy drink. That's even like more funny sounding to me, but. Well, it definitely tastes like the fizzy drink. It tastes like, it does kind Doesn't of Doesn't it? it tastes just like Coca-Cola. That's crazy. That is weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me see what the ring tastes like. You said it was really sour. Oh, it's sour to me. It's just like, it kicks in at the end. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, I think you could get a yes with this. Most definitely, who doesn't like candy? Have you got the bite yet? Mm. It hits you with a little bit of a bite. I feel like. I could be wrong. It is sour. Okay. I don't know if that was just my pregnancy mouth or something. I was just like, <laughs> oh! So, so far, you've liked all, or did you even like these? I like them you all. Like, okay. You like them all? Mm -hmm. What is your favorite? The caramel chocolate. Yes. Can't, can't deny it. No, no, this is another caramel chocolate. This is a bomb diggity caramel chocolate, bomb I think. Bomb diggity. Bomb diggity. Another ripoff, $6.99. I think it's usually like two pounds in the UK, so definitely we ripped us off here. But they come in these little bitty bite size Ooh. caramel chocolates. So I'm gonna check that right there. These look addicting. Very addicting. Mmm. Now that chocolate is definitely like sweeter and more creamy. Mm-hmm. But it's actual sugar. They do no like fructose, all of mm -hmm. none of that. They don't well, That's what makes it so much better then. And it also is Probably a lot better for you, you know, not, not, a, not having all the 
very all odd stuff we have different chemicals or whatever. They make sure to tell you that you're drinking what percent of uh, fat and what percent of sugar. Because you remember here, they won't even show us the sugar half the time. Here, if it gets like to be where it's a lot, it'll be like in red and all that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, this is good. why they're skinnier than is we are. Is that why you're so much more thin? Yes. Be nice. All the guys, I'm gonna have one more of these. You can have one more too. Now, the next thing is the final thing. And it's something they like to do with their breakfast. And it's called beans and toast. So they'll have an English breakfast. I'd like to at one point, I think the next time you're here, I want to cook and try to put together an English breakfast so you can see what this is like. That would be interesting. But it's <laughs> it's this interesting, um, it's this sausage, just like a Cumberland sausage. This big fat piece of bacon that doesn't really look like bacon to me. It's more like... Bruschetta. What is that? Well, what is that bacon? It's like a sh... They'd have to say. It's like the... It's the not... What? Prosciutto? Was that prosciutto? Is that what that is? Maybe you were right. I just have no idea what that is. So it's that and then know, however you want to say. they'll have the beans and toast mm -hmm. and they'll have like whatever kind of eggs you want and then like a blood pudding, mm -hmm. blood sausage or something, blood, I don't know. It's, that's the stuff that I don't usually eat. You don't want to try mm -hmm. that. Maybe a big mushroom, but it usually is pretty good for me. So now it's time for beans and toast. We've got our waiter, wonderful <laughs> Doobie, who's going to serve us our beans and toast. We're ready, Mr. Doobie. <laughs> <laughs> so when I went there, I had to try it. It had to be done. Well, I mean, it'd be like, they probably don't eat beans and cornbread like we do here. I don't know if I've ever seen cornbread there. They might not. also don't eat any other beans besides baked, like sweet baked beans. True. And when I'm talking about the good old juicy brown beans with ham or bacon. Yeah, the, that's that's the ones that they On cornbread. Oh, cornbread. so yeah, you're talking about the, yeah. yeah. You're yeah. What are, are those ranch style? What are the style of those beans I remember? Pinto, Pinto beans. Pinto. Yeah. Pinto beans and cornbread to be about the same version here. Mm-hmm. That's like the, the southern southern pride meal <laughs> that they well, have there. For sure, in the depression, that they were cheaper to make. Okay, ladies. This is our butler, Mr. Duban. Oh my gosh, what Whoa. beans did you put on this toast? Beans and toast. Beans and toast and water. <laughs> <laughs> so, so last time I tried to show the English people my beans and toast, I was on the side and they got really mad at me and they're like, no, the beans has to be on the toast. This is our version we've tried to put together of y'all's beans on toast. It's right here. You don't have to take, like, we can cut off a part here. But did you actually great. make we this? We just got, went to Hooters and had crab legs and shrimp. This is going to be a little bit of a Beautiful. little hard to eat, but we'll go for it here. So you got your baked beans, you got your piece of toast. Got and it. You just go, yeah. I mean, tastes like beans on bread, pretty much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this would be with your eggs. Can you imagine having this in the morning? I would with not the... think of this as a breakfast. As a breakfast at all? Mm -mm. They definitely, put in the comments down below how many of you guys eat this for breakfast. I've seen it multiple times. But it's, huh. it's not too it's terrible. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah, it kind of maybe changes it up. Maybe it gives you like a little bit of a sweeter taste within mm -hmm. the breakfast, but it's not bad. Yeah. Like I've been a like pretty big... French toast for us. Mm. French toast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've given you a little piece of England and some of the different things. If you were to go visit England, do you think you'd be happy with some of the stuff that, the, that we've showed you here? I would. I would. I mean, I think, especially like the candy and everything, this here is different for me. But I'm sure it is kind of like the beans and cornbread like we have here. But it's just our custom and something I would really enjoy. But um, this would be something I'd have to get used to. <laughs> I've never actually gone to a steak place in England. Do you guys have steak houses? I bet they do. Do they have steak houses, Will? Did we ever notice that? Uh, yeah. I think they do. I know we ate a lot of steak houses in Germany, but I've never eaten at a steak house in England. I bet they do. But they always say that they get, when they go to Germany, when I'm with the English guys, they say that they get a great steak that they don't get in England. So I guess maybe that's not as good there as it is in other countries, because it was better in Germany. They've, they've got steak houses everywhere. Hmm. Germany's okay. crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know, no, I mean, it, did, it had something to do with the cows, the disease on Oh, on they the did cows, just have mad cow so disease going on around there. Was there was a time, I guess, a period in time whenever they weren't able to get the beef, you know, so. That's probably, that might have been a thing. You guys can let us know. That probably was a thing at one point, because I know that there was some mad cow disease going on. I just don't remember where or what. I don't remember anything very much about it. Well, 
that is our taste of England for today. Seems like Mother Teresa yeah. enjoyed. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. That is gonna be it for this. If you want to see like a full version of other different kinds of English things whenever she's in town and I've just given birth and probably gonna be wanting to maybe eat a lot of stuff. I have no idea. I can hardly wait. <laughs> she can't wait for it to come here. Then go ahead, hit that thumbs up button, get this to a thousand likes. Thanks for watching for today and until next time. See y'all. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye-bye.